Hi Sagittarius. I'm Tyler. This is your reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, so what do you have going on for January? Um, let's see. You have no cards wanting to come out. Well... Here we go. Mm. So, the battle is over, but you still feel like somebody wronged you, or maybe you need to take a time to recover. You're looking out for... Oh. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay, but there's a new opportunity going to arise from this. And <clears throat> with the judgment card and death. So, what happened here that you need to let go of? What do you need to take from this, um, take from whatever battle you just endured and let die so you can let this Ace of Wands come through and give you um, this new opportunity? And the Wands are about pa your passions. So maybe something didn't go right, like expected with your job or um, maybe school or, you know, maybe you have something going on with a partner where they're holding you back from something. Um, and your Sag hates to be held down. You guys are like free. You guys want to roam around and like be not caged for sure. So it's like, who can you come together with now that you've let that um, go that you guys can celebrate and move forward? Who can you um, connect with that's going to further push you in the way of your passions and not um, hold you back? Definitely, here's the, here's the Ten of Swords. So, you're letting your mind just kill you. And so, it's like, judge yourself clearly. Don't let other people push their opinions on you. But definitely have an open mind and an open heart. But you have this... Seven, right? No, eight. I'm sorry. <laughs> this eight of wands coming through to say, like, you have a good idea. Maybe you need to go back and restructure it and or maybe redo it and speak to other people about it maybe you need to go back and edit it maybe you need to go check out parts of yourself and judge yourself the judgment card coming through with all these things to say like listen what what did you do not wrong but what did, what could you do differently for that um that could help you move forward with whatever you're doing so what something has to die here and in order to for you to move forward so this could be negative thinking, because with definitely with that ten of swords, it's like, what negative thinking do you have? What fears do you have that's not letting you move forward with whatever decision you have? And oh, oh, okay. So the king of swords popped up. So it's definitely um something going on in your mind but you, the king is a leader he knows how to rule justly he knows how to um put people together for the better of the group he knows how to um you know not like put people down with their ideas but know how to pull the best things out of them so who can you bring together to help you further this creative project or whatever you have going on Ooh, but the devil coming through to say that maybe you have some addictions, maybe you've been overindulging in things, shopping, maybe you've been indulging in drugs or drinking or whatever, and this came through for cancer too, but it seems like we've had a lot of overindulgence lately, maybe because we're in this weird transition where our fears are getting the best of us, especially with everything that's going on in the world, period, with this energy shift, the devil, I think a lot of us are turning to alcohol and drugs and shit. Um, oh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so you have the higher fence. So it's definitely maybe some organization, some, or your beliefs. Um, are you holding on to some beliefs that aren't necessarily yours, or are you letting people's opinions, um, you know, stunt your growth? Because now is definitely a time to grow and, um, be a leader who's willing to listen to everyone's views, willing to hear everyone's side of the story. 
So, <clears throat> and also too, you have the tower. So what do you need to break down? What structures or what um, things about yourself do you need to forgive yourself for or forgive other people for? Because we can't grow until we forgive somebody for something that they've done. So maybe this is just forgiving something in your childhood, maybe to take it back that far. I mean, really. So maybe it's forgiving um, your parents for not fucking um, raising you right or whatever. You feel like the world has fucking shit on you. But you're moving away from this energy, right? Because this is, swords are about your mind, your ideas. Something in your mind is holding you back from moving forward. But the Knight of Swords saying, like, be true to who you are. Like, be true to you and... Um, as long as you're just true to who you are, you'll come through with this ten of, I mean, nine of pentacles, and it will bring your ideas to fruition. Do you have a lot of cards that are, um, about endings? It's definitely, it's definitely an ending of something. Mmm. Mmm. Uh... <laughs> So you have the Queen of Wands with the Sun and the Ten of Cups. So definitely, definitely move forward with whatever you're afraid to do. Like move forward with your ideas, break down these old structures, break down these old outdated thoughts um, or ways of thinking and move forward with your creative passion because the Queen of Wands is all about um, new ideas, um, new ways to express yourself whatever it may be, but that's going to, it, whatever it is, it's going to be beautiful for you. With the sun and the ten of cups coming out to say, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled, and the sun lights up everything in this deck, so maybe even though it, it feels like very um, stifling energy right now, breakdowns are always, like, every time I've come down in my life, I've come up ten times harder, so don't forget the silver lining. Don't forget that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Don't forget that there, you, the light is shining on you, whether you think it's, like, all this darkness and all this stuff right here, don't get caught up in that, take it as a lesson, you can look at things, and it's all about how your mind, like, processes things, so if you're processing things and just taking it negatively and staying in that negative energy, you can't move forward from this and come through and, like, be a light, so right now it's definitely calling you to be a light, and maybe you are in a dark place right now, but the sun is shining on you. So you are, maybe you are the sun. You know what I'm saying? You have to be that light. Um, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to pull from the, ah, work your light deck and these are just fell on. This is, oh, the ever unfolding rose. Crack open. It's happening for you, not to you. So that it goes in transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. The age of light. <laughs> You've been training for this for a lifetime. And then share your voice. Come out of the cage. Persecution. Expression. So these all came through to let you know that like you are on top of the world. Maybe it feels like you're in a ditch. But you're going to crawl out of it and climb up. And like when you get out of this rut you're in or get out of this negative thinking it might not even be a rut it's more for um your conditioning your um it's for your growth so don't take it so negatively the way you, if you change your mind you can change anything i swear so be in that higher vibration shine your light be somebody who is willing to make difficult changes for the betterment of themselves and for the world like yeah, so let me pull one of these um, Rebel Deck ones. I love these ones. Mm. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, stop taking yourself there. Okay, well, you guys heard it. You guys heard the Oracle. So, anyways. Have a beautiful rest of your January. Don't let the darkness overcome you. Know that it, you're going through it, and the only way out is through. But check out my website, guys, tylerdesantis.com. And like, subscribe, share, subscribe, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you guys in February. Love you. Bye.